Hello everyone, welcome to Forest Reviews the World. Today we are going to be talking about the Rock Manual Espresso Machine, which retails for about $270 Canadian. It's something that I've owned for over two years now that I use not on a rate, not like daily, but I use it on a regular basis and it makes decent espresso. We'll just start with that, but there are some problems that I have found with it. I have researched on how to use this properly and there's a video even by the creator of this um, design and they do it in a fashion where you bring the arms up and you do this pumping motion uh, multiple times which really forces a lot of pressure through the beans and will create the espresso. I have found that that creates a more acidic brew than doing it a slower way which is just slowly bringing the arms up to create pressure in the chamber so that water doesn't pour through the beans and then at the top letting the water sit for as long as it takes to start dripping and then once it starts dripping slowly applying a pressure just kind of maybe a few pounds of pressure and then do it at the end one more time just to force the rest out and that has brewed for me a much milder less acidic uh brew um i don't mean milder in the you still you actually i find that it's a lot stronger than if you do the the thing because you're allowing the water to sit in those beans and get more of that um, coffee flavor out of them and more of their essence so Right there, I'm kind of going against the way that this machine is designed, but I have found that the way it's designed doesn't work very well. I do get a pretty decent espresso out of this, but I get about zero crema, which is a problem for me. That is something that I enjoy about coffee, specifically espresso, and it just doesn't feel as espresso-y without it. <laughs> uh, I know that's not a good explanation, but it's just um, it's just something about it. It feels like it's been brewed improperly. And maybe it has been, but that's just how this machine works. And, and I've watched other people do it and I just don't see a crema being formed. Um, I've measured the beans, I've I've pressed the beans, certain uh, amounts of pressure and all these kind of things, and they just have never been able to get a good crema, which is in part uh, a sign of a, of a good espresso. So for this price, I mean, other manual espresso machines out there, there's one that has just a single lever that's even cheaper than this one. Maybe that would be a good option. But the only other manual espresso machine that I have tried is the i believe it's called here i have it up here the cafe lot which is kind of it looks like a little robot and it has a couple little extra compartments it has a um, pressure gauge so you can actually look at that pressure gauge and really see exactly how much pressure you're supposed to apply to it and my friend of mine and the reason i bought the rock was because he had this which retails for 550 dollars canadian it is almost double the price and it just produced the best coffee i think i've ever had the best espresso i've ever had it had crema i mean he weighed the beans he temperature gauged the, the water he did everything properly which i have also done with the rock and not gotten the same results so i would recommend that if you have the money i mean it's like I said, it's almost double the price, which is why we didn't go with it. And we thought, okay, we'll, we'll compensate, we'll get the rock and hopefully be able to produce something almost as good. And it was disappointing in that realm. I, I immediately after a few times and, and then researching, I was like, man, I wish we hadn't gotten this and just gotten an automatic espresso machine in that price range. It would have been kind of lower tier for sure at 200 280 but it wouldn't have been the worst espresso machine out there. You can get ones for a hundred bucks or less that are just, just trash. But for 270 bucks, you can get one that would be okay. Um, and, uh, you know, I kind of wish I had done that. The, the rock has been disappointing in that, in the way that it has never formed the crema and, um, the strategy of doing the extra pumps and stuff like that 
just doesn't do it for me. Um, overall, you know, I still use it. I, I literally have a, a coffee cup right here that, you know, right there it's a little leftover that i left in there um it just uh i use it but i wouldn't choose to if i had other options that were better and there are other options that are better the cafe lot is just an amazing machine i highly recommend that but i also would recommend just getting an automatic one that has good reviews that you know, maybe there's another reviewer out there like me who actually will be honest about it and will show the results of it. Um, so this has been my full review of the ROK, the Rock. I do think that it's a cool looking machine. It's fairly well built. You know, it's a kind of a cast aluminum and it's polished. It looks really beautiful. There are some plastic components that you actually pour water through. And then at the, at the bottom where you actually attach the um, espresso cup thing, I don't know the words for them, um, there's silicone in there. So there's those kind of things where with the other one, you know, the cafe lot, it's all stainless. It's, it's, uh, cat or it's coated and there doesn't seem to be as much kind of plasticky kind of things like that. So that is a nice feature as well to be able to move away from some of the cheaper materials and you do get what you pay for in some circumstances. And this is kind of a fine art, you know, the manual espresso. And so, the tools do matter when it comes down to it with uh, something as delicate as this process can be. And so, yeah, that's just basically my full review of this product. Um, if you don't need something like this, you know, this was a bit of a CUDA move for me. This was a bit of a seeing the nice bling and wanting it for myself, seeing my friend having this really amazing manual espresso machine, having the cup of coffee that just blew my mind and then wanting it, but not really needing it. We, you know, we've have, um, God damn, my, my mind is blanking, but we have one of those aero presses that we could make coffee with. We could have done something uh, cheaper and gotten a very similar result to this if it had been automated. And, uh, you know, overall, it was a bit of a reach for me. You know, that's very expensive, $280 to, to purchase something like this that isn't really needed. So think before you make purchases. Don't make mistakes like I have. And, you know, our money is a vote when we spend it it's a vote in the direction that we want the world to be so think before you spend and it is takes a lot more effort to earn money than it does to spend money so make sure that you're buying things that will improve your life and will improve the world thanks everyone for watching